Namaste, sweet souls. I am Deanna coming to you today with our energy update for January 27th through February 2nd. And we are in the last week of January. I cannot believe it. Does it feel like we've been in a... a... Time is eluding a lot of us. Things are speeding up, feeling like... Um, we're really breaking free of the chains that we've put on ourselves in the lower mind thinking. And what I'm going to highlight on today isn't going to come from the book that we've been I've been sharing every week with everybody. Um, I'm really being f called to share my own. So I know this is going to resonate with most of you because um, I do feel energetics on a collective. Um, I want to talk about the age of Aquarius and what's happening for these first two weeks. I really noticed within myself that, um, especially in the evening when it was time to go lay down and rest, that I was really having to call down the energy out of my lower mind thinking into my heart chakra and a lot of breath work in order to release these old programs and these old chains. A lot of you probably have been having um, old things coming up, the old programs that we're letting go of. Understand that that's quite common right now, that a lot of us are going like, whoa, wait a minute, I've already went through this, I've already released this, I'm not ignoring anything. And it just feels like to me that it's a clearing of our energy at this time. Um, Anytime Pluto's going through a sign, right? It's in Capricorn still, and I do believe it stays there all the way through 2024. It brings up the dark things, the things that have been hidden, um, breaking the chains of old systems that were set up and not in authenticity. So keep that in mind as we're purging. Um, the age of Aquarius, and because the sun is now in Aquarius, we just had this new moon. It was almost like an initiation of, okay, keep your forward thinking. And although the things are coming up that we've possibly already worked on, just know to keep your higher thinking um, in forward motion, right? Because the Aquarius is known as the water bearer. And the water bearer goes out and gets the water and brings it back to tribe. So symbolically, look at how um, they're very humanitarian type thinking. They're about the community. They're about the forward thinking is, is in the bigger picture. Um, so let me see, where's the Aquarius symbol for anybody that doesn't know what it looks like? It is an air sign and it looks like so, right here. So, Visualize this with your higher thinking, right? Uranus rules the higher thinking, rules Aquarius, of what we're putting out there energetically in our thoughts right now. How are we doing about not, not allowing that lower mind to keep us chained, to keep us bound in the, in the box, right? Um, how are we doing with forward thinking, for community, for tribal, for um, inventive, uh, finding new ways and new creative ways to step into our harmony. And so I think that was the major thing that I wanted to share this week because as it was coming through me, through me, I noticed that I was having to really call my lower thinking, which is old programming, old beliefs, calling that with breath work into my heart chakra to merge to merge that thinking into my heart space instead of going on the old program of you know shame guilt not feeling like you're enough any of the low dense energies that are all lies right um so that's been coming up for me and i know it's happening on the collective as well as I was saying about Pluto through Capricorn all the way through 2024, we are going to continuously feel within us, right? And then as a collective out on the stage of um, the matrix, a lot of these things that have been hidden 
come into the light. Just remember that. Keep that higher thinking within yourself, you know, kind of try to merge your higher thinking with your heart space and really forward energy, right? The ripples of the Aquarius symbol, what we're putting out into the ethers, into the collective. That's why I feel it's very important for all of us. Um, I don't know who shared it. I think Cryon. I listened to a Cryon channel. I love him. Um, anytime we see 1111, 111, it's a snapshot of our thoughts. So whatever you're thinking, when you see the synchronicity of those two, two combination numbers, really keep yourself in check. And what I'm going to ask is that we go, if we see 1111 or 111 anywhere, um, pause and no matter what you're thinking about go immediately into that heart space and put out into the ethers and visualizing right prayer energy visualizing peace to Gaia peace to the humans peace to every animal plant and tree because that's a snapshot of our thoughts at 111 and 1111 and I just think that's huge. I do believe that was shared on one of the Cryon channels. Um, as soon as I figure out how to put links in the description box, man, I'll go ahead and do that. I might try it today. So my thing is, is quieting and breaking the chains of that lower mind thinking. And I know this past week it has been for real, including last night again. Um, it was coming up energetically through me as anxiety. As we know, if people, if you have a lot of fixed energy in your in your birth chart, we get fixed into things, and this is not the time to do that. A lot of change still is going to be um, going on, constantly shifting. And another thing I want to bring up is the Pluto aspect. Because this is an outer planet that's in Capricorn, you know, like I said, through 2024, death and rebirth is the symbolism of that. Um, without knowing the, the hurt of loss, we wouldn't know such love, right? And so I think that's coming up with a lot of us right now. And if in the lower aspect of that, right, um, doing anything that's out of integrity, speaking things speaking things that are hurtful instead of of love and of compassion of peace and i think that's a huge thing that we all need to understand um including myself is that as these old things fall away we're gonna have this feeling within us of grief of maybe um whatever it comes up within you of not feeling like you know what direction you're going. And so a lot of breath work I'm going to recommend throughout this week because we have quite a few squares and one of those squares is more of a hard aspect, but squares get things done, right? Mars and Venus, the feminine, mar the masculine archetype, the action planet and Venus love. So I think that's really highlighting a balance with not only within us, but in carrying that out into the world with the forward thinking of Aquarius, of carrying water to the community, carrying light to the community, really symbolically. Um, being that person where when you have somebody sharing a lot of the fear um, or duality or separation, or oh my God, the news is so crazy and oh my god the world's getting worse i think it's our duty as an awakened soul as the old souls that are very in tune with all this to go no it's actually not it's actually being revealed um re revelations to me always take what resonates leave the rest please um revelations to me is a lot of people understanding now collectively going forward that we have a direct connection to God, Creator, Source. There is no box put around us. We don't have to go through anybody else to have that connection. Um, and so it's a beautiful thing. So being strongly rooted in that and knowing that within you, you know, being the water bearer for community, whether it be just on social media or in, in person, uh, it's really a time to not allow um, restrictions. 
And, and we cause our restrictions by not having healthy boundaries, carrying the dense energy, energy of shame, guilt, not feeling like we're worthy. And so I just really want to ask this week that we bring that harmony within us. And if you're having a lot of the lower mind chatter, speak in your mind's eye, right? Speak through your sixth, sixth chakra, seventh chakra, your connection of going, no, these aren't of love. I'm going to call this into my heart and really focus on taking deep breaths into your heart chakra this week because we are, there's a lot of cosmic energy coming in, you know, as above, so below. We're feeling it. The Schumann resonance has been uh, fluctuating quite a bit again, and that's because we're being asked to connect with our cosmic um, connection. And having that forward thinking like the Aquarius, right? Putting out into the ethers. That's why it's so important that our thoughts create the energy, right? And that it's very important to not shame yourself if you're thinking from your lower mind, which is separation, duality, that you're not enough. A lot of shame and guilt that's been healed um, or been we've put that box around ourselves. Um, we don't have to be a saint or a savior to anybody. We don't need to go outside of us for that connection. Really connecting in the heart space. And if you have that lower mind chatter, call it down into your heart chakra. Take some deep cleansing breaths. It's a fact that if we focus on our breath, we can reset our whole system. And so I'm gonna continually recommend that for everybody because we're going through so many changes and shifts right and it's almost a feeling of we don't know well it is we don't know what future thinking is and that's the beautiful part about it because future thinking in the past used to be from all the past traumas all the whatever we've karma's done and so now we want to co-create with each other the visionary, right? The the forward thinking, the higher thinking, very Aquarian of oneness back to who we truly are and really being aware of that snapshot of 1111 and 111, right? The pillars that are taking snapshots from the universe of our thoughts at that time. And so if you're in a lower dense energy, maybe it's your wake up to say, oh, what am I thinking about? And course correct. That's huge. That's what I do. And we can literally change our forward motion and our higher thinking into that cosmic connection, right? And being that rebel, Aquarians can be very known as being the little rebel and the trendsetter. So it's up to us light workers, old souls that are already energetically feeling all of this to kind of be the water bearer and never overextending yourself. Let me let me say that too. You only share that with those that are open to receive because they have to balance in their feminine masculine as well with this Mars square. There's going to be, I'll, I will say this, this whole week, you're still going to continue to see all these things. Um, if you're in the heart space, you're golden. Not to say that we're not going through a lot of things, because energetically, exhaustion. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself. And self-care is something from an empath that in the past, we didn't put ourselves first. We need to do that now. We are way showers, you know. A lot of us are shaman. Um... We all carry the energy of that, but it's all about the awareness and merging that lower thinking into the heart space, allowing for the expansion that is available for all of us, and keep sending out the waves, right? Like the Aquarian Uranus thinking, forward motion, but in bigger picture, right? Cosmic thinking. And so I'm going to go into the Oracle now for this energetic update for... The last week of January 2020, timeless message as always, January 27th through February 2nd.
So we are going to be drawing from the Mystical Shaman Oracle today with Colette, Bear, and Reed. God, Creator, Source, I am here. I am ready. And I am open for the guidance that we all need. These beautiful messages to confirm, to validate what we've been purging, releasing, breaking free. Of the chains that we put on ourselves we know we don't have to play small anymore and it's time to step into our authenticity and let that light shine the seer take another one spirit oh wow that's another thing too with Aquarius it's the three top chakras right throat chakra third eye chakra crown chakra that huge vision going forward, right? And so we got the seer is the first card for that. So, mm. okay, guys. First card that we got for this week is the seer. This is like I was just sharing with the visionary of if you get a snapshot of synchronicities, stop and pause within yourself. Are you thinking from a lower mind or are you thinking from that three top chakras, five, six, seven, blue chakra, that's your clarity. I feel that's the Christed. If you're speaking in your authenticity from your heart space, Six chakra, the seer, third eye, having that forward vision of expansion, right? Very symbolic of Aquarius. Being that water bearer of seeing the bigger picture, the higher spiritual picture, that connection with the crown chakra, the cosmic energy that's coming in. I call it the Christed white light is what I call it. Um, Understanding that that flow of energy that we have down through Gaia, through our crown chakra, expanding our vision going forward, being the seer, like I said, if you're seeing people are speaking of, oh, it's a terrible world and things are getting worse, be the one that goes, wait a minute, let's look at this from a bigger perspective. Have all of these dark energies of, let's say it, Plutonian energies the hidden things that have happened globally on this planet it's all for us to get the bigger vision to see that we have to go through all these shifts and changes and be the seer of that that's beautiful card number 28 the jaguar i see this as courage i see this as in seeking out meaning the hunting um Hunting out your vision going forward, having the courage to do that. Um, I'm going to read from the Jaguar. The Jaguar is the protector of all life, and in times of fear, she brings courage uncertainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. That also is coming up too. If you're requiring a lot of quiet time right now, you aren't the only one. I am as well. It's really about quieting that lower mind and talking and being still instead and allowing the downloads. I noticed within me, a lot of ear downloads, a lot of buzzing, a lot of higher frequency um, coming in last three days specifically. So a lot of downloads. Just breathing in really deep when you're getting these downloads and saying thank you, not trying to logically figure out what's going on. It's raising the frequency, right? Like they talk about 5D and this, that, and the other cosmic energy coming in as within us as well is we're raising our vibration so breaking free of those chains is causing us to you know maybe have them lower thinking and lower energies purging out of us this is giving you the courage 
to see that, right, to see that bigger picture, really only giving your energy to those, it says about, you know, very stealth-like and never becomes prey. That's another thing, too. Do not allow these old things and these old programs that you're breaking free from, you know, consume you. So Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you. So hand in hand with the breaking free of the chains that we put around ourselves. Go outside your normal routine to push your limits and boundaries. She is delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown. And that goes precisely with what I said. A lot of us collectively we're breaking free of all these old structures so we don't know that we haven't been to a position of the integration that we are right now and this all chap happened and changed in 2012 with the procession of the equinox and now we're going forward into whole new territory even you know as within us but also in the cosmic right so have courage through that the Rainmaker. Oh, she's beautiful. Mm. So card number three for this week is the Rainmaker. The Rainmaker is the master of manifestation, and that's a thing too, guys. We are rapidly manifesting right now. That's why it's so very important to pause yourself when you're seeing these synchronicities. Stop. Go, what am I thinking about? If you're not thinking of love, peace, joy, abundance, goodness, gathering the water for the whole, right? All walking each other home. Correct yourself and immediately start going into prayer mode. Seeing and visualizing every human, animal, Gaia herself in the Christed white light. So important. Never pray from victim mode. Always pray from, you know, declaring it. You're sure of it. So, when the power of the co-creation is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. When the earth is parched and the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and in the people's hearts springs life again. Wow, is that huge, right? Rainmaker is calling us to create something new from the elements that are already in our life. Be sure you work with this and not with the, the might or the could have been. So here we go. Not in victim mode. Not in lack mode. Wow. <clears throat> the seeds have silently germinated in your heart and it will burst forth ready for the sunlight. Do not hold back. Put it all. Put all your chips in. And roll with the divine. That's super beautiful. Wow. Um, course correct your thinking. Take the higher vision. Very Aquarian, Uranus, forward motion. Um, seeing the larger picture. Take that forward, grasp onto that. Don't become prey of the illusions that we're seeing fall away. A lot of these things that have always been need to fall away. This is the courage of you going forward. And the Raven Maker, you know, nourishing what you've nourishing what you've already planted the seeds for going forward. Allowing that water to cleanse you and purify you. Keep focusing on that breath work into the heart chakra this week course correct if every human being listening to this takes us when they get the 11 11 and the 111 synchronicities on the clock pause yourself go into prayer mode sending healing energy to everything and it will we can one at a time collectively we're co-creating this going forward so be that seer that's also card number nine. Five plus four is nine. So completion of the cycle. So that would go hand in hand with breaking free of the chains that we put on ourselves. No more playing small. Allowing for heart expansion 
and I send this to you with so much love to you guys. I will put a three card draw in for this week as well. So go ahead and go on my YouTube, look through the playlist. Lots of good, beautiful sharing there. I do want to end this today with some people have subscribed to my personal account on YouTube and I do no, no videos there. So get the word out there. Empowering Empaths is the channel on YouTube. I hope whatever that you took resonates today. Like I said, leave the rest. I am an awakened empath. I feel collective energy. And I just keep taking, you know, leaving behind the age of Aquarius, breaking out of the box, breaking free of the chains, and keep being that water bearer and putting out into the ethers light, love, oneness, and peace. Namaste.